Hi there, and welcome to Plug and Guru's Power Review for Stylus RMX. My name is John Skippy Lemkul, and I'm going to be taking you through Stylus RMX version 1.8. 1.7 was introduced at the NAMM show, which added the new time designer and a whole lot of other new features. And 1.8 includes a completely new automation system to make automating RMX easier from within your sequencer. And so we're going to take a look at all sorts of abilities of RMX, not everything. If you need to know everything about RMX, Spectrosonics has some incredibly great video tutorials at spectrosonics.net. There's support for how to plug this into your sequencer and use it best with whatever your sequencer is, tricks, all sorts of things. But I'm going to give you just a really quick overview for those of you that haven't seen RMX, and I'm going to show you a lot of stuff you might not know about if you own Stylus RMX, because that's what Plugin Guru is all about. Um, the music you're hearing in the background, these are all grooves created using this power pack that I've created for Stylus RMX 1.8. Uh, when 1.7 and 1.8 came out, uh, there's no new multis, there's no new drum kits, there's no new... Uh, there are some new time designer templates that uh, they created down here and uh, a few up here in the right here. But uh, with the Plugin Groove Power Pack, you've got all of these straight grooves and you have all of these swinging grooves to play with, as well as 40 new drum kits. There's a whole bunch of new multis grouped by Ambient, Breakbeat, Film, Club, Pops, and Time Signature, including things like techno waltzes and techno hip hop and stuff like that. <laughs> and 7, 8, Progressive Rock, why not? And finally, parts. This is an area that's never been supported by Spectrosonics, um, just because they made multis instead. But once you see how to use it, when you go open part, you have, with the Plug and Groove Power Pack, you've got 100 parts and what this does is this will load into a single one of these eight channels in RMX in the middle of working on a song in the middle of production and all of a sudden you go oh man I really need to have like a conga with nice reverb so you go down here to the mixes and mix sweet conga in a room sweet shaker sweet tambo there's all these pitch things there's noise things and then there's all these filter and chaos things but you just need a little something weird in the background of your groove they're there for you to open up play with and uh, I have got a couple tricks to show you that will just open up massively what what you can do with those there's new drum loops coming out skippy's got new drum loops now um, they'll be coming out probably by june so if you don't if you're not up to date go to pluginguru.com and in the top right corner there's a little thing to set up to uh, get the newsletter by email and i'll send out a little announcement when those are available and uh, keep you up to date with all the other uh, power reviews for other plugins i'll be doing in the future all right let's get right into rmx We're going to go to the core library, to the RMX grooves. Um, there is a huge, huge number of drum loops here uh, between uh, 51 and 174 beats per minute. Anywhere from, uh, this is supposed to be 80 beats per minute, so. As you can see, over here, there is sweet, so we say no snare, no kick. There's so many different. Speed that up. There's some crazy stuff. The drums. Here's bubble art. There's more European type of stuff. And these are really speed up, so speed them up. Now, if you've noticed as I've sped it up and, and slowed it down, there's no audio change. There's no audio quality. The stereo imaging is kept. That's because it's not a loop. It's been torn apart into little tiny samples that represent each timing event. So when you play it back, fast or slow, it just is speeding up or slowing down when it's going to play those parts. That's, that's, that's part of the power of, of Stylus RMX, is every drum loop is, is a separate sample. So any of these you can call up and start playing it from your keyboard and sequence it and record it and make a new groove just by playing whatever you want to play. So there's all these loops in the RMX grooves. 
Classic stylus, there's four gigabytes more of drum loops, all sorts of different styles. Groove elements, these are all sorts of isolated elements, just a bongo player playing bongos. Or cowbells, if you need a cowbell part. Tons of kicks, tons of snares. The shakers are awesome. The fidelity is great. All sorts of different shakers. Triangles, tambourines, all these kind of elements that you might need to use in a music production at any time. Um, below this, these six are, these two libraries are actually separate libraries. The, the stylus is what came from the original version of stylus, and then RMX is the new stuff that came when stylus became stylus RMX. Um, they've taken both those libraries and grouped them by musical styles. So if you need all the all the urban drum loops, you can quickly just go to urban and it will combine these two libraries and show you everything that's urban. Now below that is sound menus, and this is a different area of RMX that a lot of people never have discovered. And here you've got the access to tons and tons, little, like over 10,000 samples of anywhere from kicks and snares and hats, just menu after menu after menu after kicks. Uh, the ambient metals are the... All these really cool things for cinema things. If you go to the edit page, however, and reverse them and take the sample start to be later, you now have all these cool transitions that you can use in a dance song between one section of a song and another. So there's a little trick for you. Um, make sure you check out the turntable effects down here. Uh, brass record scratching, acoustic guitar, acoustic bass. This is a DJ guy that's scratching all sorts of different things. You can go to the uh, saxophone scratching. And <laughs> so there's a ton of stuff in the sound menus. If you go to the mixer, you can go instead of from drum loops, you can hit the kit button. And now it changes into a drum machine where you have eight different samples that can be loaded. Um, you've got factory kits that it came with. Um, electro, acoustic is not really its forte. This is more electronic kind of stuff. Um, I did a couple acoustic type of kits. It's just, that's really not as forte. It's not a, a beat. That's about as close to acoustic as you can. There's other ones that are close to kick. Uh, a heavy rocker reverb, this is good acoustic, kind of a rocker, kind of a, let's see. But it's really great for more of the dance kind of stuff. Um, Deep Pain Club. That kind of thing. It's great. Tons of kits. So these are the Plug and Guru Power Pack kits that come with the, the Power Pack from the website. <laughs> 